Hi everyone, it's Father Vicaro, and I wanted to just offer my own words of encouragement and reflection about the Exodus 90 and the Fiat 90 experience. I did the Exodus 90 last year with a group of young adults from the parish here at Nativity. And to be honest, I'd heard about it for a couple years, but when I heard that it was 90 days long, and I already thought Lent was too long, so I heard the Exodus 90 was an additional set of days and all of the penances that I had to do, I just said, you know, it's not worth it. It's going to be too hard. But the guys convinced me that, well, you know, you're a priest. You should do this. So I said, fine, I'll do it. And really, it was such an awesome experience. I'm going to do it again uh, this year, and I plan on doing it every year. It was so huge in creating an opportunity for prayer, like making time for prayer. A lot of the extra disciplines and, and sacrifices helped me realize that I can do. Um, I, I'm stronger than I, I give myself credit for, so that taught me that. And then the community the accountability and the fellowship, getting together every week, talking about our experiences, praying together. It was just huge. And it bonded us together as friends. And I emerged when Easter came better. I was better. I felt like I was closer to God and I was ready to really live the life of faith. So as a priest, but also as someone that participated in the Exodus 90 and then knowing people that have done the Fiat 90, I encourage you, everyone, you can do this. You should do this. It's awesome. It's worth your time. It's worth the sacrifice. It will help you grow in faith. I promise you, it will help you grow in faith. God bless you all. Everyone, my name is Luisa Paestegui, and this is my beautiful wife, Erica. And I would like to share with you my experience with Exodus 90. At first, I got to admit, I was petrified, thinking that I would have to live by these rules for 90 full days. So during a dinner date with our friends, they extended the invitation to us. And when they did, I remember saying to myself, I really don't think I could live a life where everything is not about me. Then I laughed internally and quickly realized that God allowed me to say that to myself, to open my eyes and realize just how much I truly needed to give Exodus 90 a shot. So I said yes, and it turned out to be one of the best yeses I have said thus far. So all of the challenges were eye-opening for me because mostly I failed all of them. But God allowed me to fail them to see how little I can handle on my own and how little I was relying on him. The biggest challenge for me was fasting on Wednesdays and Fridays. Uh, those that know me, like my wife, they know that I take eating very seriously. But when I started purposely missing meals, I became more aware of God's presence. The way this worked was very simple. And it was that whenever my stomach grumbled, my mind immediately went to God because I knew that the reason it was grumbling was because of God. So since my stomach grumbled pretty persistently, my mind was on God also very persistently as well. Also, on a marital perspective, I thought it was pretty awesome to take this challenge along with my wife because she said yes as well. And it was great to see each other how we struggled how we overcame with the help of God, and also be each other's rock whenever we were tempted or felt weak. So it was very beneficial from a marital perspective. So that was really cool as well. Each challenge brought its own rewards. And as a general result of undergoing Exodus 90, personally, I realized how much trash I was allowing to occupy my mind, heart, and body in places that really should only be occupied by God and my faith. It was truly a humbling experience, and I'm willing to do this again this upcoming year. So I got to finish this video now because I'm always giving Father Vaquero a hard time for his lengthy and very generous homilies. <laughs> so I can't let this video be longer than his, or he'll start giving me a hard time. So if you're still listening to this video, take that as a sign that God wants you to be in Exodus 90. It's no coincidence that you're watching this video, as God allows everything to happen for a greater purpose. So please pray for me not to chicken out of the cold showers, and I will offer my sacrifice of cold showers for you. God bless. Hi everybody, my name is Russell Scott, and I'm here to tell you about my experience with Exodus 90. Exodus 90 is a fantastic program. I've gotten something new out of it every time I've done it. I did it in 2019 and in 2020. Probably the, the top thing that I brought out of this program is a, a sense of simplicity. You really don't realize all the things that you have that are cluttering your life, cluttering your mind, cluttering your soul, until you start intentionally trying to take those things away. 
and really reduce yourself, re- reduce your life down to the simplest things. And you find that I, I've, I have found that prayer is really it's a, a fundamental uh, element of life, and I have had not been making enough time for it. So Exodus ninety really helped me find that and appreciate that by introducing simplicity. It's really that's what it's all about is identifying those areas where there's room for improvement in our spiritual lives. If you think about it, it's kind of like spring cleaning for the soul. You know, some rooms might need more spring cleaning than others, but you really got to look around and, and think, you know, what what of this can go? Exodus 90 helps walk you through that process. So if this is something that you are interested, interested in, if this is something that you're thinking about, I highly encourage you to give it a try because I guarantee you that you're going to get something valuable out of this. No matter how it goes, no matter where you are in your spiritual life, there's something for everybody here. If you're remotely interested, I highly recommend that you try out Exodus 90. Thank you very much.